camera video eight minutes long has just surfaced three years after a Nassau County grandfather alleged racial profiling. The retiree says he was humiliated in public in a case of mistaken identity. Jennifer McLogan covers Long Island and has more. That morning was the worst day of my life. Tyrone Pfeiffer is a grandfather of eight and retired grocery clerk who once served in the National Guard. I'm sorry, I'm just getting a little emotional. Every time I watch it, it just hurts. He's talking about police body cam video. Civil rights attorney Fred Brewington was finally able to secure three years after Pfeiffer was arrested after leaving his podiatrist's office in Baldwin. When he approached me, he kept calling me Leroy and he had his hand on his gun. Police were looking for a suspect named Leroy with a history of mental health problems wanted for domestic abuse. When Pfeiffer didn't hand over an ID, police appeared to grab his umbrella and bag of Christmas cookies, a gift from his doctor. I didn't do anything! Hang on! I just came out the f***ing doctor! Okay! And you attacked They wrestle him to the ground, handcuff him, and throw a punch. Took me to Nassau County Medical Center, where I was handcuffed to the gurney, until 8.30 that night to get a, an appearance ticket. Tyrone Pfeiffer credits his court-appointed legal aid attorney for getting all charges dropped following 10 and a half months of legal battles. When we talk about Nassau County being the safest county in the nation, who's it safe for? According to police data compiled by State Criminal Justice Services, for every 18 black people who are arrested for obstruction in Nassau County, only one white person is. It's just unfortunate. And it happens to black people of color or nationality other than white every day. Pfeiffer says he doesn't want to be another statistic and is suing Nassau police and the commissioner for $30 million. Well, guess what? There is going to be another number. But that number is going to be going to his bank account. From Nassau County, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan.